Charlene's another one with, with the laugh and quite a cut up. Quite a cut up Charlene was. She was, <laughs> oh, so many memories about Charlene. She just, she could lead you right down the path, I tell you. You get into trouble and have an awful lot of fun with her. <laughs> she was fun. Charlie Freeman, the crazy girl. God, she was so funny. I always had fun work down at the donut shop down there where uh, New Haven is. Larry is, um, he really, you know, he has, he's the toughest, you know, the tough guy outside, but on the inside, Larry really, really, truly is a very sensitive and kind person. Ah, oh, Ken Saracen. Ken lived, um, on, not far from where we lived on Main Street, he lived down on Clark Street. Ken was a nice guy, very popular guy in school. He just, he did, you know, in New Haven everybody kind of did everything. And Ken was one of those guys. George Steiner, he lived on Carl Street in town and he ended up marrying Chris Melton. And um, I always had a crush on him, but Chris ended up with him. <laughs> Greg was probably I don't want to get in trouble for this, but Greg, I think, was probably the best athlete in the class. Greg Davis. Nice guy. He's kind of quiet, but a really, really, really good athlete. Jenny Lavoie. She was my singing partner in choir. She had the better voice. <laughs> <laughs> and she went on to Carnegie Hall in New York. Jeanette Marie Cecilia Lavoie. Jenny um, had an absolute gift for music. She was... Uh, piano player, she, well piano player isn't a very good way to say it, but she played the piano and sang. And she carried that on into her life. She studied music uh, in Detroit and ended up in New York City. Susan was a real popular girl. I think she was, uh, she may have been a majorette too, I think. Uh, she was really popular and a very cute girl. I do remember Ken. Ken was a really, really nice guy. I think he, uh, I think he became a minister. I remember that uh, the Andrews family, they lived uh, out on Main Street. Oh heavens, Shelley Duncan. <laughs> uh, Shelley had a laugh that you could hear a mile away, and she laughed all the time. She was, Shelley was just fun and, and laughs just laughs. I'm sure it got, in, got her into a lot of trouble. <laughs> she had, uh, she was, Shelly was a good time. Shelly is still a good time. Shirley Browning, she was kind of quiet sometimes and hung around mostly with their sisters but they were always uh, in town on the weekends. They lived out near the Heights. Charlie could make anybody laugh I think. He was just a happy guy. He, w he was, duh cute and he would he would try anything. I think he was on the football team and he was about Dyke's size I guess. They would, these guys were not big. Diane Fissler, boy, but she she was a cute girl. She was very cute. She was a uh, one of the uh, majorettes for the band. Diane was a very pretty girl. Oh, Faye Williams. Faye lived in town. I spent time at Faye's house very pretty girl. You could kind of pull a joke on Faye and then she would get it. <laughs> and then she would get it and she would laugh. And, and have, you had a good time with her, joking with her. She's very pretty. And Fanny Boglin, she lived right downtown, always making everybody laugh at the school dances at lunchtime. Dyke was, uh, <laughs> he was probably the smallest quarterback on a football team that you'd ever find since he's not much taller than I am, if he's as tall as I am. Uh, Dyke was really, really, really bright. Oh, and Paulette Lippert. <laughs> you know, I think that Paulette, very pretty girl. You stand next to Paulette and you feel like you know, you're a potato sack. <laughs> really. Uh, she, uh, I think Paulette had bling before bling was invented. <laughs> Jerry Devlaminick. Oh, I had a crush on Jerry. <laughs> yeah. He was a, he really was a nice guy. And boy, was he cute. Ooh. He was a cutie pie. I had a crush on him. And, and actually, uh, a lot smarter than I think a lot of people gave him credit for. And Pam Green, who's now Strasburg. 
uh, was one of our homecoming queens our senior year and one of my friends through high school through kindergarten well I think we've been friends since oh and Don Green he was uh, he may have been the, 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 the cutest guy in the class well next to Jerry Dominic maybe Don Green was and he played all kinds of sports and uh, he was a good time Linda Budden I think I've seen Linda at one of the alumni uh, banquets recently. She was, uh, she was a lot of fun, Linda Button, a lot of fun to be around. I liked her. Oh, Jim Schwark. <laughs> I think Jim Schwark is crazy. Crazy Jim. He, he, this guy is a barrel of fun, Jim Schwark, and you, you kind of wouldn't know it until you get to know him a little bit, but he, uh, <laughs> he's nuts, he's crazy, he's fun. A lot of fun. Jeez, Dick Kendrick. My boyfriend from when I was what? Kindergarten? Yeah. Oh, got caught behind the garage kissing one time. <laughs> Jane had a heart of gold. Jane would do anything for anybody. And I don't think she had a, a bad word to say about anybody. She was just, she was just really, really sweet. Truly a heart of gold. And, and a lot of fun. Yeah, Marie was one of our class officers. I think she was co-treasurer, Marie. And we, we, we got along real well together. She, Marie played on the basketball team with me. And Jerry Brill, oh yeah. Jerry, Jerry was kind of a big guy, big guy. I'm not sure if he was on the football team or not though, but he was a good guy. Robert Rinke, the redhead, he was another one of the guys with all of us that would hang out at the dugouts. At our lunch hours, I think back when we were in seventh grade. Doris was a really, she was another quiet person, uh, but just a real, really nice, nice girl. Anything, she'd do anything for anybody. Dennis Kazmerzak. They called him Tank. You can, he, he was a tank. Dennis was on the, definitely on a football team. In fact, <clears throat> I think, um, I think he was the line. <laughs> There may have been one or two other guys that were big enough, but I think Dennis was pretty much the line. Amelia Lee was a very nice girl. We always had a lot of fun with Amelia. And if ever I needed some help in biology, I'd always ask her to give me a hand. Amelia was, was, was one of our class officers. And Amelia was, she was very bright, very bright lady. And uh, I, I very much enjoyed Amelia. I enjoyed talking with Amelia. She was a, I considered Amelia to be a friend of mine. Don Leapsight, they called him Louie. I guess that was after his dad. Louie Leapsight. <laughs> oh my, he was one of the, one of the guys like Dick Kendrick that, uh, I don't, they just kind of raised a little bit of cane, you know? But they were a lot of fun. Dennis Dixon lived out on Fairchild Road too in Mead by Jerry Brill. And I think they were pretty good buddies. Yeah. Dennis was kind of quiet in school, but always smiling and had something funny to say. Mike Jones and Dyke Hines were like, you know, two big buddies together. Mike was bright. I think now he's living out, I think, in California. Susan was a real popular girl. I think she was, uh, she may have been a majorette too, I think. Uh, she was really popular and a very cute girl. She really was a nice girl, and she played basketball with us, I believe. She, would, she was so very kind and a very, very, very nice person. Also very bright. Carol Cook was quiet in the class, but our class seemed to be the one that everybody got along. Everybody got along. We were always all together. Uh, Pat Crawford. <laughs> we used to, a lot of us would always go over to the Crawford's house. Ma and Pa Crawford, we called them and always had an awful lot of fun over there. It was a great time over at Crawford's house. And Pat was real, uh, real sparkly, real happy girl. Uh, always had a lot of fun, a lot of jokes. Oh, and Howard grew. I think Howard was the tallest guy in the class. Really, really, really sweet guy. Every, I think everybody liked Howard. He was a really good guy. And Connie Causey. I think I played, I'm not sure if Connie played basketball or not with us. Great smile, great personality on Connie Causey. She was a nice girl. Billy Blake, he's up north right now, I think. He was the funny guy of the class. One of the funny guys of the class. We had a lot of funny guys. 
Billy Blake. He was a nice guy. Cute little guy. Little. Not so little. <laughs> he was cute. <laughs> Bob Baltnick, the crazy guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. He was funny. He always used to be in our little group that we'd all get together with and just hang out in the out near the uh, Little League fields on our lunch hours. Bob Boltnick. <laughs> what a cut up. He was, uh, I think if there was trouble, Bob might have been there. You know, he was a really nice guy though. He really had a really, really good heart, Bob did. I think because it's a small town that there was a very, at that time at least, and I would hope that this hasn't changed, very much a sense of security in that town. That you could, kids would go outside and play, and the rule was you, you know, when the street lights go on, you come home. And parents didn't have to worry about their kids. And uh, you grew up with the same kids for the most part. You went to school with them through all the grades. And uh, I, I think that it's, it's probably one of the best ways for kids to grow up.